Great, so now that we've got our weak password and our moderate password, we're going to add in our last section that's going to be our strong password. So if you ever sign up for an account on the internet, you may see that you'll get a warning that tells you you have a weak password, a moderate password, or a strong password. Now, some tips for a strong password are that you need to have a mixture of lowercase letters, capital letters, and special characters. So we already have our weak password and moderate password taking care of the lowercase and the uppercase. So now what we're going to do is add in one more level of complexity by creating a list of special characters and numbers so that we can create a strong password. At the end of this code, I'm going to hit enter twice just so we can separate this code again from the rest. Now we're going to create our password three variable. You already see the pattern. We're going to do something similar as earlier. It'll be an empty list. So password three equals apostrophe apostrophe. No letters in there yet. Then we're going to hit enter and we're going to create another variable called special chars. And we're going to set this equal to numbers and special characters. So we're going to do the same thing as our alphabets. We're going to put an apostrophe. I'll put in all of the numbers first. Then I'm going to go through and add in some special characters. And feel free to add as many special characters in there as you want. The more options you have, the more secure your password will be. And then once you're done, add that apostrophe at the very end. Hit enter. And now we're going to create one last for loop. It's going to be really similar to our previous two for loops, except we're going to also include the special characters list. So we're going to set up our for loop. Again, the word for. I is our counter in the range of the integer of the length, two parentheses, and then the colon at the end. Hit enter. And we're going to do the whole thing again, except we're going to include lowercase, uppercase, and special chars. So we're going to use our random char variable, our random character. It's going to be equal to the random module using the choice function. In parentheses, we're going to include all three of our lists. So our lowercase list plus our uppercase list plus our special chars list. And close those parentheses and hit enter. And we're going to build, I'm going to hit enter a couple of times so I have more room. And again, when you hit enter, you should see the, you should see that replit will indent for you so that you're still inside of the for loop. And now we're going to build our password three one character at a time. So we're going to take password three. Make sure you spell it the same as you've been, you've been spelling it. And we're going to set it equal to whatever password three already had in it, plus a random character, so random char. And then once your for loop is done, go ahead and hit enter. Make sure you're at the beginning of this line. Then we're just going to print, print parentheses, your quotation marks. And then you're going to label this one as the strong password, colon, space, Apostrophe. We're going to add your password three to the end. And close those parentheses. And you're ready to see all of your passwords weak, moderate, and strong. So now if I'm going to scroll back up, hit that run button at the top. I'm going to put in, let's do 15 this time. So I'll get three passwords of length 15 if I press enter. You'll see I have a weak password with all lowercase, moderate password with all lowercase and capital, and a strong password with lowercase, capital, numbers, and special characters. So you can see here that one of these passwords is definitely the start of the show where it'll be really difficult for a hacker to guess this set of characters.
And with that, congratulations, you've coded your strong password generator. I hope you had fun and make sure your passwords are strong.